Barb is an amazing member of her community. And I just don't know, like many leaders, how she has enough time to do the things that she does. Not only does she know what she's talking about, but she, she has influence in the, those areas. Barb is, is low-key, very humble, uh, friendly, always contributing, always positive. I grew up on a farm, so um, I have lots of agricultural memories. You know, Dad was one of those that always kept us busy, so you learned really early to stay busy, or he'd find something else for you to do. My mom was always one of those that took care of us kids. You never saw her go off and take a, a break, or a mom time, or me time. You, you never saw that. And Dad was always working hard, so you just felt that was all part of it, that you had to get in and, and help out. It was the first year out of college. Um, my sister, myself, I had three sister-in-laws at the time, my younger brother, got together and um, we had bought this bulb stock. Easter was coming, the field was gonna be in full bloom. We picked flowers out in the field and, and sell them for a buck a bunch. And each year that kept continuing, even though we had other jobs and other responsibilities, wouldn't you just kept growing. So when I think of Barb, I think, well, she's my neighbor but she's a great family person. She's a fantastic uh, representative for the Farm Bureau, for Oregon, agritourism, for horticulture. She's all of those things. She's a very kind person. She has a great sense of humor. And she brings a sense of joy to the things that she does. And she is always, always right there with absolutely, how can I help you? That's why she is very busy, uh, and she probably wishes she said no more often, but thank goodness for the rest of us that she doesn't. Barb is involved in an amazing number of boards, committees, task forces, commissions. If you talk about just about anything that affects their farm, she or someone in her family is directly engaged in that effort. She's the kind of leader that every organization wishes they could have. I would describe Barb as being extremely innovative and adaptive. Her ability to see opportunity and to capitalize on those and to figure out how to make it better for everyone is an excellent skill set. Barb is a relatively quiet person. She's not the kind of leader who needs to hear herself speak on every issue that comes up in a meeting. But when she does speak, people listen because they know that she's thought about it deeply and she's probably two or three steps ahead of where many other people in the room are. To be involved in everything, I love it. It's just, I, I, as long as I'm learning a little bit and can give back a little bit more, that's, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's really, when you look back at your life in general, it's about giving. But when you talk to one of the Iversons, you'll find that deep inside of them, there's something very, very special. They have a special love for farming, a love for the land that they farm. But more than that, they have a love for people. Most people know Barb and her family through the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. Wooden Shoe Tulip Farms has a tulip festival annually, usually in the month of March when the tulips are blooming. A wooden Shoe is a visual event, and um, even the, the pictures don't do it justice. You have to, to live it and be out there to really get it. They want to teach and educate the people who come out just about what it takes to farm. It took just five days for someone from all of the 50 states to attend this year. They've had people from 140 different countries. In one month, they bring in 150,000 people to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm. If you filled up Reeser Stadium, Autzen Stadium, the Moda Center, Providence Park, and then you threw in all of the farming and ranching members of Oregon Farm Bureau, you still wouldn't have the same number of people as go through the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival each year. Well, I believe that she has really boosted agritourism and agriculture at the same time. There are countless people in the state, across the country, and across the world who feel that the Iverson family personifies Oregon agriculture. And really the reason you do it is for the memories those people have when they walk away from your farm. And you know, at the end of my life I'm going to look back and realize I created all these memories or, or helped create. I didn't do it, but you know, it took the whole family, but that's, that's what it's all about. You know, I'm really honored. It was totally out of the blue, unexpected. I still don't think I, um, I deserve it. And I'm still wondering why I'm here. But, you know, 
it's, it's very humbling. Barb, you have so many places that you can apply your talents, your skills, your experience, and your ideas. And I'm so thankful that you are so generous with all of those things, both with Farm Bureau and with the Oregon Agricultural Community. You have been the pioneering spirit, but not only that, you've allowed us to figure out how to get it done. And you've led that direction, and you've been such an asset, and I appreciate your leadership, your mentorship, and your friendship. Barb, I just want to say thank you so much for all you do for the agricultural industry. You deserve this award more than anybody that I can think of, but more than anything else, Barb, thank you for your friendship.